It's now a Saturday afternoon here in Japan, meaning the Dokyo for September 2021 has been purified. In line with recent COVID protocol, leading wrestlers stayed away from the ceremony, but Tedano Fuji was present outside to receive his title winner's portrait for May. The new Yokozuna also had the following message for fans watching the YouTube live stream. I will try to put on some good sumo for everyone, and will really appreciate your support. I will now do my best as a Yokozuna. The only one fighting this time, of course. And as sidelined wrestlers cannot appear at public events, Hakuho's July portrait was received by his assistant coach, Takashima. The newspapers are predictably awash with commentary on how special and difficult a Yokozuna debut is. Teru's coach, Isegahama, ex-Yokozuna Asahi Fuji said, The atmosphere will change from that of his Ozeki days. His match day schedule will look completely different now he has the ring entering ceremony, and he will have to adjust. And pressure will come with being alone at the top. New Nikkan Sports columnist Wakano Hana, the 66th Yokozuna, added, That ceremony can wear you down mentally, I can tell you. There are so many details you have to remember. Your timing when you enter the ring, the way you move your legs, the need to always hide your backside from the fans sitting in the showmen section. That's the TV angle, and the most prestigious. Only when all that's over can you start properly thinking about your day's match. But I'd still mark him down as favourite though, because he has specific strategies for every opponent. That's how he's reached the very top. And if you look at his recent record, he's head and shoulders above the rest. He's just got to make sure his armpit defences don't weaken in the second half. Meanwhile, sumo business chief Oguruma said, If he conquers those New Yorkers in a nerves, I think he'll carry this tournament too. While press chief Shibatayama added, As our second Yokozuna, I want to hope highly for how well he can do. As for who may challenge Teru, the jury can't return a verdict. Wakanohana has already written off both the Ozeki, and has instead called upon the Sekiwake to surprise him, while adding a wish for Horshoryu and Kiribayama to stir things up. Isegahama has pleaded with Shodai to remember his pre Ozeki days and get on the front foot again. He's also urged Takakesho to better embrace Sumo's basics in a bid to avoid further injury, and encouraged Meisei to keep gaining muscle, up his Tachiai force, and improve his deciding moves. Then we can consider him Ozeki material, the coach concluded. Oguruma, though, would like to believe in the young Kotonowaka. Right now his sumo mirrors his father's, but I'd rather he fought like his grandfather who made Yokozuna, Oguruma said. I don't want to go on viewing him as a guy who ekes out wins. One man not tipped to challenge is Ichinojo, who we learned, after his infection, had to isolate himself from training until just three days ago. His coach Minato said, We have no idea how he'll perform, and I just want him to give all he can. As you might expect given past practice, the Miyagino men absent this time should all be keeping their ranks for November, bar one or two minor adjustments. And finally, Taka Genji has appeared on Takatoriki's YouTube channel to apologize for the actions leading to his dismissal. He was then lectured by Takatoriki on the dangers of repeat offending, and told to spend the next 10 years firmly rebuilding his image, a la Riki himself. Genji, who left his stable without a retirement ceremony, currently has his hair ponytailed and has been promised an unofficial haircutting event by Takatoriki. The ex second division man also revealed he'd received no severance pay, despite Riki's claims, based on discussion with an employment lawyer, that he is still entitled to receive 30% of what a scandal free wrestler does. 
For a man awaiting trial, Genji's hint that police had betrayed him over the disclosure of his confession, topped with Takatoriki's more explicit, yeah, they betrayed me too, might be perceived in many countries as contempt of court. Luckily though, no offence by that name yet exists in Japanese law. There are, however, laws pertaining to maintenance of courtroom order. Hopefully, these two men have not fallen foul of them.